Hey everybody, I'm Honda Pro Jason, and I'm in the lobby of the PMC plant where they're gonna be building the new NSX. And this is the new NSX. Just kidding, this is the new NSX. Come around here. This is the new NSX. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you guys around the entire plant from the beginning where they start with welds and the space frame all the way through paint. I'm gonna show you guys them installing an engine and then all the way to the end when they dyno test the car. And they're gonna be able to do eight to 10 cars a day when they're at full production. So follow me and let's have some fun. Standing inside of the frame of the new NSX. So this is where it all is. This is the, the skeleton of the new NSX. And this is where you get your structural rigidity, your safety. The new nodes that they built are right over here. You guys can see those, check those things out. They're sand casted. We learned a little bit about that today. And all of your safety, everything that's gonna make this car a true supercar starts where I'm standing now. They are bringing us through every step of the manufacturing process of the new NSX. Behind me is the welding department. It is insane. I mean, just look at these machines. They're unbelievable. This is the CMM machine. This measures by laser everything that those welders did as, as soon as the frame's done. And it measures it as small as a third of a hair. A third of a hair, it's unbelievable. But it shows the craftsmanship of how this new NSX is gonna be built. It's insane. So after the welding's done and the body panels are all welded together and the frame's welded together, it needs to start dipping. It needs to get protected before it gets painted. So there's a couple different dippings here. One of them, zirconium, which is the first time Han has ever used zirconium. They dip the whole frame in this chemical and that's gonna protect it from corrosion. It's also eco-friendly. And then as we walk down, it gets dipped in all these different baths. And this is cool because this has really never been seen before. No one's really shown you the paint process. So before the painting begins, you guys have to understand that all of this stuff has to be done and each of these baths do something different. Some clean, some protect. All the body panels are going through this. The frame's going through it. And then when it's all done, it gets baked at some obnoxious heat for like 50 minutes. So everything gets baked. And then once everything's done, everything's baked, then we start to go to paint. Let's see what it looks like from there. So standing in front of the paint booth, a lot of you guys are asking about this new Endaro paint. Like how many coats is it? It's 11 coats of paint, 11 coats of paint. So it goes through this paint booth that actually does primer and clear in the same booth, which is strange because that's normally not done. All the paint is done inside here, it's baked. And then the paints is not used, they actually recycle again. So there's very little waste. It's pretty amazing. I've never seen the inside of a paint booth before. And did I say 11 coats of paint? 11 coats of paint. After the frame gets dipped and coated, it comes to assembly. And here you guys can see all the parts that go on the assembly, each of these little spaces. What's interesting is the frame, the space frame actually gets rolled from section to section. So the employees don't actually have to move. They can stay in their section. They install all of these parts using this computer here to tell you exactly which parts get installed where 
and the proper torques and specifications. Once all these parts are installed, they get reloaded as the car gets moved forward to the next position. In assembly, after the parts are painted, all associates have to use these gloves in order to touch any painted part. They want to make sure there's no marring or scratching. So as beautiful as the car gets done when it's painted, it should come to assembly and then leave assembly in the same exact condition. I'm standing in front of the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine that's going to go on the new NSX. 547 horsepower, 500 from the engine, and where does the other 47 come from? Well, it's this electric motor standard right in the middle. Gives extra power and helps with some turbo lag. Now, let's see this get installed in a new NSX.
So the space frame is done, all the welding's done, all the painting, all the coating, all the accessories are put on, the interior is put in, everything's assembled, the car's been dynoed, and when the engine's assembled initially, it's also dynoed, it gets checked for leaks, after that the car is race ready. And what they mean by that is, a customer could take the car straight from the dealership and hit the track that second. There is no break-in whatsoever, which is just awesome. I hope you guys all enjoyed my very in-depth tour for the first time in the NSX plant at PMC. It has been outstanding. A huge thank you to the entire staff here. I was completely blown away. Big thanks also to Cody Loveland. He did all my videography on this whole trip, which was just outstanding. So guys, go on Honda's website, configure your own, buy one, give me a call, and take me for a test drive. As always, I'm the Honda Pro. And now you're in the know.